I'm going to explain why that device you bought has a warning that says, do not mix old batteries and new batteries. Well, to explain this, let's start out with one simple principle. We have a battery here, which is a power source. And it doesn't matter whether it's a battery, a photocell, a secondary of a transformer, or anything where power is imparted into your system, you will find your positive side where conventional current exits the power source. So the first rule to know is that conventional current exits a power source at the positive side. Now we're going to go somewhere else to where there's a consumer, just a resistor in this point. And that current's going to come and enter this resistor, and this is a consumer, not a power source. And when this conventional current hits here, we're going to have charges back up and build up electrical pressure where it it's like my famous soda straw demonstration where if I blow through the soda straw, I have a slight pressure gradient from one side to the other, but if I pinch it down a little bit, I get a backup of pressure where the current goes in and a less pressure where it comes out. Same thing happens with a resistor. I get a backup of pressure where the current goes in and less pressure where it comes out. So conventional current, we get positive to negative. So where we get a backup of pressure, we get positive or in this case, we have the source of power, which is the chemicals inside the battery in this point, pushing charge to one side, and where we get the charge pushed over and bunched up, we get positive, and here it bunches up going in, and we get positive there. So, when we have a power source, positive is where the current comes out. We have a power consumer, positive is where the current goes in. And after explaining that, I can explain what happens if we have batteries where one battery is older than another. Let's put three batteries in series here. I'm going to use the battery symbol rather than draw batteries. This works with two batteries, but I think it'll make a little more sense if I start with three batteries. So let's say we have a circuit over here and we have our current flowing under the circuit and back this way. We don't need to know what's going on over there. But let's say this is a fresh battery, another fresh battery, and an old battery. Now, what theoretically happens in a battery is that our voltage never disappears, but our internal resistance gets bigger and bigger and bigger as the battery ages. But we're going to have to look at it a little differently to understand what is bad about mixing old and new batteries. So let's say this one is producing, oh, let's say they're 10 volt batteries. This one's producing 10 volts, positive to negative. Current's going that way. This one's producing, let's say, that's an old battery, really old battery. And so because of the lessening of the power and the resistance and whatever, we're down to only one volt, positive to negative. So far, so good. And this is a fresh battery, so we're a full 10 volts positive to negative. But this battery is getting used up and it's going to get to the point where the power is completely consumed and it's only going to be able to give us zero volts. So at that point, well, it doesn't seem to make much difference there, but what's going to happen is now we still have the internal resistance of the battery and we have the rest of the chemistry and it might even produce more resistance depending on what's going on. But now what do we have? We have current going through. It's no longer a power producer. It is now a consumer. It's a resistance. In fact, let's just draw this as a resistor just to help us understand. So now the conventional current is going in and is going to become positive where it goes in and negative where it comes out. And so when now we've reversed the voltage on it and that might become, uh, depending on how much resistance we have there, let's give it a, oh, let's give it two volts. I'm just pulling these numbers out of the air, but they're reasonable numbers. So now the polarity on this is reversed. That's bad thing number one. Batteries don't like to have their polarity reversed and your typical alkaline battery will start producing gas and can rupture the seal. In fact, there's a pressure relief in there that it can be ruptured and it will probably start leaking. And one thing that might be perplexing is you take these old batteries out. Let's say you have some batteries of different ages and you pull them out and check them. You find, oh, there's uh, three quarters of a volt, three quarters of a volt. Oh my gosh, this battery has reverse voltage. I have half a volt and the positives where the negative should be and the negative was where the positive should be. How could that happen? Well, that battery has actually been charged 
in the wrong direction has become a reverse voltage. Very bad for the battery. Bad things will happen. It's going to uh, possibly get hot. Uh, it's going to build up pressure inside. It's going to rupture the seals or the pressure relief mechanism and probably going to leak. So what you don't want to have happen is one of your batteries go to zero volts and then have current being pushed through it from what should be the negative side to what should be the positive side because then the voltage will reverse because now we are pushing current into a consumer, positive where the conventional current goes in, negative where it comes out, and we get a reverse voltage on there. So that's why you don't want to mix old and new batteries because the battery that runs down first is going to get a reverse charge on it due to it becoming a consumer instead of a producer of power. And bad things tend to happen to batteries when you do that. I don't know off the top of my head what bad things happen to different types of batteries, but it's certainly not good unless there's some batteries that are actually okay at taking that. I think a lead acid battery can actually handle that, but don't quote me on that. Just knowing how they work, it might be possible that a lead acid battery could be configured to work <laughs> with a reverse voltage on it. But like I said, don't quote me because I'm sure there's someone else out there that can say I'm dead wrong. Reversing the voltage on a battery is a bad thing. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible and a big thank you to everyone for watching.